Hi everyone, this is Jerry. I wanted to make a quick video to show you my current method for arriving at a projection line for the week. Um, so, starting with my Oanda demo account, I um, run over to Tools and History Center, click on 30 minutes and export, and I'm sending it over to the Timing Solution folder, uh, Time Set and replacing the data that's there. Yes. And close. I also have, let's see. Well, I have it set up for 10,000 bars, um, max bars in the chart. And um, so it exports exactly 10,000 bars. And having that variable under control has helped me to be more consistent with the predictions. So let me get out of here. Now let me pause. Well, I don't have to pause. It's pretty quick. Uh, come down and launch Timing Solution. And load that data. Okay, yes. OK, and calculate. All right, so zooming in on this week and looking towards next. Um, first thing I do is I just run the regular spectrum and find the major peaks that are centered around between 900 and 1200, 1300, 1400, something like that, cycles. So here we go, and so I'm seeing a, a peak here and a peak here. So that starts at about 9.30 and ends at about 14.30. So next I click on the Q spectrum right here and put those values in 9.30. 1430 and let's see then click calculate I'll pause it here while that happens okay this is just finishing up now that took about three minutes or so and these are those two cycle peaks uh, that you saw on spectrum all right well ah, I'm recalculating it instead of bringing it up that's okay. This happens pretty quickly. Um, so this peak here and this peak here um, are stretched out and are represented by this one and this one. So um, this is the, the one I'm going for. Uh, Q spectrum didn't show much over here and um, this drops right off over here. So I'm going to click right here, and perhaps on this peak, and also kind of right where it starts to come down closer to uh, here, so it's sort of centered on on this one, and set this to a thickness of two, and. That's showing me kind of next week, um, but I'm not ready to post it quite yet. Um, but it's showing a down market approximately till Tuesday at 15:47. That's Eastern Standard Time. Well, we have a um, a change in daylight savings time this weekend um, in the United States, so. I have to also look at that. Um, but the next thing I like to do is, um, well, let me start with this. I put up an astronomy study, and I have noticed that Neptune has been working really well lately. Um, a phase of Neptune, right here, and the fourth harmonic. And just to see how that is looking against this curve here. It's 
it's also showing a down movement, um, uh, though it's turning up a little bit sooner. Uh, sometimes I use this cross here to indicate uh, a change in trend. And kind of peaking out Thursday at 1826 and heading down into the close on Friday. Um, but I'm going to keep looking and experimenting. Uh, you can see how that Neptune curve looked last week. Uh, it caught everything perfectly here. The Q spectrum, on the other hand, um, uh, I recalculate for each new week based on the previous week's data. So it may or may not match up with that week. Okay. You can see on the week before that, it's okay, but it's not great. It missed this low here uh, by a little bit. So um, I may go in and look at other studies based on, um, let me launch Astrolog here and see what's in the clear for this week coming up. So by that I mean no squares, no conjunctions, and no oppositions. So here's Monday, March 12th. I see Jupiter in the clear. Um, Saturn is making a, a, a square with Venus. Uh, f f until... Wednesday through Wednesday, and Jupiter is fairly in the clear. So I could take a peek at that. Let's see if I bring, oops, put in Venus here and Saturn and phase. terms of harmonics, I look at the cycles here and try to find a cycle that's close in the two point, uh, hold on a second, so here's 2.59 and then I add these up, that would be 14, 15, 16, that adds up to 7, uh, not excited by that. And I'm going to set the LBC back further, and 2.549, 10, 11, that I could work with possibly. So let me, see, oops, right here, I'm getting a correlation of 89% on the second harmonic um, with 2.54 cycles, that is 9, 10, 11, which is a master number. Uh, so let me just set this up and drop that on the chart and come into this week and see what's going on. Okay, so it's showing a low much later in the week. Hmm. So that this is where things get tricky. Um, I've been relying on the Q spectrum as my sort of major signpost and then looking through what might work here. Um, the problem with that is that it's something called confirmation bias and uh, if I find a curve that matches this curve then I reinforce that this curve is correct. Whether that's in case the fact or not is another story. So I'll keep looking and I will post to the uh, to the forum, uh, my chart for next week. Take care.